So is your hard drive, is your USB stick not discoverable on your Mac? You've plugged it in and it's not showing up. Hi, my name is Emilio from Stella, and in this video, we're gonna cover the steps to not only recover that hard drive, but to recover that data. So you've got yourself your USB hard drive or a USB thumb drive, you've plugged it into the side of your Mac, whether that be a Mac laptop or a Mac desktop, you've got USB ports on the side or on the back, you've plugged that in and it's not showing up. It's not even showing up on your desktop on your Mac. So what do you do? What I would recommend is look at your finder and see whether it's just hidden. Perhaps the option to show external devices on your desktop is not enabled, so we're gonna enable that. Now what I would next recommend is just give your Mac a simple reboot. A reboot of your Mac fixes so many issues, so go and do that. If it's still not showing up, two things that I'd recommend is one, why don't you try plugging in that USB hard drive or the USB thumb drive into a different port on your Mac. You've likely got more than one USB port, so why don't you run it into a different USB port. If it shows up, great, it could be an issue with the other USB port. The other thing that you could do is why don't you try changing the cable. If you've got an external USB hard drive and it's got a cable running out of it, perhaps look at changing that USB cable. Now something that I always like to do is make sure that it's not the computer itself that is causing this problem. So if you do have access to another computer, why don't you take that USB drive and actually plug it into another computer? If it shows up, great, then you know that the issue is potentially on your Mac. If it doesn't show up, then there's still potentially an issue on that USB drive. So if it's plugged into your Mac and it's not showing up, the Mac itself has a great software package. It's a command line interface essentially called Terminal. I would recommend that you open up the terminal and run a command to see whether if it is discoverable on your Mac. You can open up the terminal by going into the Finder, into Applications, and down into the Utilities, or going into the Spotlight and typing in Terminal. Once Terminal shows up, type in diskutil space list. What will be displayed is a list of every single partition and every single drive that is a part of your Mac. Why don't you have a look at how big your USB drive is? If it's perhaps a 32 gig drive, have a look in that list whether something around 32 gig has been discovered. If it does show up on the list, that's good news. It means that it's not physically damaged, it's just logically damaged. There could be a corruption somewhere on the logical, on the software side of things, so there is a good chance that you can get that data off it. So if it does show up, then the next thing that you can do is go into the disk utility application on your Mac. Again, you can open this up through the Finder, or you can go into the Spotlight search and type in disk utility. It'll then open up. Your hard drive may be listed right here. If it is listed, that is great, but it could be grayed out. If it's grayed out, just select that hard drive and then click on the mount button. That will then force that hard drive to mount and show up again on your finder. It may just have been unmounted by accident or it just couldn't mount itself. So by you forcing it to mount, let's see how that goes. Now even after trying to mount it, if it hasn't shown up, because sometimes the hard drive can unmount itself or won't mount itself when it boots up, so if you can't even mount it by doing that manual step, sometimes what can happen is if the Mac OS version has changed, then it may have issues mounting different versions of Mac OS. From time to time, you're gonna be updating your Mac. If you're running a hard drive from a way, way, way ago, that could be a problem, but it could also be a driver issue. It's very, very rare, but sometimes certain vendors, certain brands of USB sticks and hard drives may require certain drivers on certain operating systems to be able to run. So why don't you go and check with the manufacturer, with the vendor, with the owner of that USB hard drive, the brand, and see whether they've got drivers for the version of Mac OS that you have running. So if it is showing up within the disk utility, but you cannot mount it, do not go and erase it. Don't go and delete it or format it because you could actually be losing more data. 
you want to just leave it as is. You could then look at getting some software like Stellar's Data Recovery, which you can download for free. Download it, install it, and then run it and scan your entire computer and then see whether you can recover the data off that USB hard drive. Now if after that, none of these steps have worked unfortunately, the next step is for you to go and take it to a data recovery specialist because they can perform further checks, further tests to be able to get your data back and recover that USB drive. So hopefully this was successful for you and that you were able to recover data on your USB drive. Why don't you let us know in the comments below how you went. Please also do like this video if you did like it. And as always, if you wanna keep up to date with every video that we are releasing, along with a lot of Mac related videos, please do also remember to subscribe, clicking on the button and on the bell so that you don't miss out on any of the video releases. Thank you so much for spending the time. We will see you next time.